Hey Balloons, this is Rob with Inyo Pools. Today we're going to show you how to replace the motor on a Stay Right Duraglass pool pump. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure the power is turned off at the breaker. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bonding wire from the bonding lug on the motor. Alright, next we'll remove the screws that secure the back cap to the motor. Alright, next we're going to remove the lines that come in through the conduit adapter. Uh, this is a single speed that has three lines. It's got the red and black which are hot and the green ground. So you're going to remove those. All right, now we're gonna separate the motor half from the front half. So we'll just undo this knob. And, and remove the screws from the diffuser. In order to remove this impeller, you're going to have to stabilize the motor from the sh back of the shaft. Okay, on most of these motors, you can either stabilize the shaft um, with a flathead screwdriver or a 7 16 wrench. Basically, you'll hold it still. And then while you stabilize it from the back, you'll spin the impeller off counterclockwise. And if you're having a hard time, you may want to use a, a strap wrench to help get that impeller off. All right, then we're gonna use a 9 16 socket to remove these bolts. One, two, three, four. All right, now you can pull the plate off the front of the motor. Take the motor off the base, save that. Then we'll go ahead and remove the conduit adapter and we'll save that. And at this point, you can dispose of the old motor. All right, one quick note here. You may have noticed that there's two options for seal kits um, for the Duraglass pump. One is a Go Kit 6 and one is a Go Kit 54. Uh, the Go Kit 54 is everything manufactured uh, in 1998 and after. And the Go Kit 6 is before 1998. And what the, the difference is, uh, since 1998, they, they removed the copper cone from the seal plate. And so it requires a little bit bigger shaft seal. Pre-1998 had a copper cone um, that was placed in the seal plate in the smaller shaft seal. What you can do is with either version you can get the Go Kit 54 and if you have the older type you just pop out the uh, copper cone and you can use the uh, the shaft seal from the Go Kit 54. Alright so we're gonna move uh, we're gonna remove this um, white ceramic seal from the seal plate. Just take a flat head. Get that out. Make sure you get the rubber part out as well. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. 
All right, then you're gonna take the new shaft seal with the white ceramic facing out. Put that in there. Use a clean cloth. And you want to get in there as flush as possible. Check it from the back side. Make sure it's flush. All right, get the motor back on the uh, base there. Put the seal plate back on. Then you'll get your bolts. There's one thing to remember with the bolts. If you notice, there's two longer ones and two shorter ones. The longer ones go through uh, the base and then into the seal plate um, and the, the shorter ones go up top if for some reason you put the long one up here it's gonna go through the seal plate when you tighten it so you don't want to do that they have to go at the bottom the longer ones through you can kind of rotate them tighten them evenly all right so then you'll take the spring portion of the shaft seal um, and you want to make sure you get this side right uh, so there's a smooth side and then there's a side with a uh, rubber insert and metal uh, the smooth side is going to touch the white ceramic and that metal and rubber side is going to be facing out towards uh, where the impeller will be. So you just slip that on the shaft. Alright, then you're going to loosen up these screws so you can access uh, the shaft there. And I'm using a quarter inch uh, socket or you could use a socket driver. So before you can tighten the impeller, you're going to need to stabilize the back of the shaft. And to do that, we're going to use a 7 16 wrench. You slide it in from the top here. And if you spin the impeller, it'll lock into place and you'll feel it. So when you turn the shaft, it'll lock into place. Alright, so while we stabilize the back, spin the impeller on clockwise. And you don't need to over tighten it, just enough to where it's firm and it's moving that shaft in the back. Or it's moving the uh, wrench in the back. Alright, then we're going to put the diffuser back in place. Start to connect the, uh, the screws here. The new kit comes with a diffuser o-ring, so we'll remove the old one. And it comes with lubricant. Um, and you'll just put enough on to make it shiny. Alright, this will be the new... Uh, housing gasket, housing o-ring, and you'll put some lubricant on there and then put it in this track. All right, so I've got the clamp wrapped around now we'll get the knob and get that started and 
And as you're tightening it, what you can do is kind of tap the metal clamp with the rubber mallet to help it seat in place. All right, then you can go ahead and thread the conduit adapter back in there. At this point, I'm ready to wire it up. All right, every motor is going to have a wiring diagram on the motor label. This motor's pretty simple. See this dial? It's uh, set for 230. If for some reason you're running it on 115 volt, you would just turn this dial up to 115 volt. So, boop, the little opening's over 115. All right, so I've got the green ground line uh, going here. I've got one hot line going to L2 and one going to L1. Doesn't matter which way uh, they go, just as long as one one's on one, one's on the other. got the new motor installed if you have any questions on replacing a duraglass motor or anything pool spot related visit us over annualpools.com thanks for watching